Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And in today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate function. This is another part of the series na kung saan pinag-uusapan natin yung function and to be specific, evaluating function. Recently kasi nakabasa ako ng comment sa aking video na kung saan, ang tanong sir, what if we will evaluate function and the value of x is a fraction and a radical? So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are given here, evaluate f of x is equal to negative 4x squared plus 9. And we will try to find f of 1 over 3 or f of square root of 5. Guys, kapag ang team given nyo, ibig sabihin, the value of x here is f of, the value of x is 1 third, and the other is x is equal to 1 over 5. And let's start with this one. So, we will try this one. We have f of 1 third is equal to negative 4 x squared plus 9. Again, we replace x by one third. We will evaluate the whole function if x or the input is one third. Now, what you will do here, guys, is simply replace x by one third. So it will become like this. Negative four times one over three squared plus nine. Ang ibig sabihin, guys, ng one over three squared is the same as one over three times 1 over 3. Kung hindi kayo matunong mag-square ng fraction, parang ganito lang siya yung expanded form. Wherein, you will multiply the numerator and the denominators. So, 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 times 3 that is equal to 9. So, in other words, guys, yung 1 over 3 natin squared is simply 1 over 9. So, our new line here or part of the equation is negative 4 times 1 over 9 plus 9. So I will erase this. The next part na gagawin nyo guys is to multiply negative 4 by 1 over 9. So ang mangyari dyan, you have 1 over 4 times 1 over 9. And if you express that in a fraction, yung negative 4 natin, meron tayo itong invisible 1. So in other words, we can multiply negative 4 by 1 that is negative 4 over 1 times 9, which is 9. So when we simplify negative 4, or when we multiply negative 4 by 1 over 9, it, the answer or the product is simply negative 4 over 9 plus 9. So the problem na natin dito, guys, is how are we going to add negative 4 over 9 and 9? So, sir, paano po ba ginagawa yan? So, bear with me kasi I am discussing it step-by-step -step process para mas lalo na maintindihan. We have 4 over 9 plus 9. Meron dalawang steps. Yung classical, tapos yung isang shortcut. Since yung ating denominator is 9, ang target kasi natin ay magkaroon din ng denominator na 9. Okay? So, so, yun, gawin natin yung classical. Para sa classical na ginagawa, uh, meron dito invisible 1, ang LCD nila is 9. So, what we will do is 4, uh, sorry, 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1 times negative 4, that is negative 4, plus 9 divided by 1, that is 9, times 9, that is 81. So, let me repeat the process. 9 divided by 9 is 1, times negative 4, that is negative 4. 9 divided by 1, that is 9, times 9, that will give you 81. And when you simplify this, this will give you 77 over 9. Ang sinasagot natin dito ngayon ay 77 over 9. Ito yung value ng ating function na f of x is equal to negative 4x squared plus 9 if the value of x or the input is 1 third. So the value of f of 1 over 3 is simply 77 
over 9. Check natin na, balik kama niya ako, negative 4 plus 81 is 77. So, that's the answer for f of 1 third. Now, let's move on. Let's have f of the square root of 5 is equal to negative 4 x squared plus 9. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, if we have f of square root of 5, your input or the value of your x is equal to the square root of 5. So what you will do is we will replace the variable x by the square root of 5, and this is negative 4, times square root of 5 squared plus 9. Mabilis lang to guys, mabilis lang to. Pero in expanded form, yung square root of 5 squared natin is the same as the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Wherein, when you multiply this, that is equal to the square root of 25 and simply equal to 5. For, pero, as a shortcut, ang ginagawa ko dito, oops, mahulog, sorry. Ang ginagawa ko dito is I'm canceling the radical sign as well as the exponent of 2. At ang matitira na lang dito, guys, is negative 4 times 5. Again, guys, kinansal ko lang yung radical sign at yung square at yung tinasa tinay 5, so plus 9. And simplify negative 4 and 5, this will give you negative 20 plus 9. And speaking of which, when we add negative 20 sa 9, the simplified form or the value of f of the square root of 5 is simply negative 11. Ito yung mismo sagot natin if we will try to evaluate the given function if we have f of the square root of 5. I hope na natuto ka sa video na to and sana sa taong nag-request na to uh, uh, you can watch this para mawala yung question mo sa sarili mo on how to evaluate a function if the value of x is a fraction or a radical. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon, and kung meron kang requested topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!